I don't want that in here. <laughs> Hello again. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be, well, <clears throat> technically it's more than my Sephora VIB Rouge sale, which I got in the mail. But I had also made um, a Sephora order like a week or two before I got like the notification in the mail and in my email. So <clears throat> I do have stuff from Sephora also, but I also have some other stuff from like Target, Walgreens, Walmart. That's all just thrown in here too, but I'm mainly going to focus on my stuff from Sephora and then I'll bring in my other stuff at the end of the video. So yes, let's just go ahead and look at what I bought. I'm just so excited. So in my Sephora VIB, <coughs> <coughs> hey Zeus, in my Sephora VIB Rouge order, I, you know, I didn't really go in there with a plan. I didn't really go online with a plan. I was just like, you know, I want to try this. I just want to try this. I just wanted to try all these products that I had not tried ever before. So this is actually a newer brand of Sephora. It's the Inky List. This is the Salicylic Acid Cleanser and then the Beta Hydroxy Acid Exfoliant. Now you all know that I am still, um, I'm still breaking out like crazy. Well, it's not like crazy. It is getting better. And I think I'm crediting that to a mask that I just used last night and everything just kind of like is peeling away. But I do want to try, um, using uh, this at night just because I really I love acne cleansers I don't know why I'm weird next <clears throat> oh I knew I was gonna buy that is two products from Ula Henriksen this is the banana bright face primer you probably have seen this all on their Instagram and yeah I think um, Jackie ain't Ina she uses this as well so I'm excited to try this and I actually just really love the Ula Henriksen products so yeah I'm excited to add this and try this out under my makeup because yeah I just really want to try a new primer. The next one is the Ula Henriksen Truth Serum. This is Z1 with a vitamin C complex. I'm using the <clears throat> Junk Elephant one right now and I also have a mini uh, tube of it. I think it came in another Sephora order. That's the Sunday Riley CEO one. And I like the Sunday Riley one, but I prefer like a more gel based serum, which is what the Drunk Elephant one and also the Ula Henriksen one is. Next, um, so the first time I ever heard Hailey Bieber Baldwin talk was on a YouTube ad, and it was for the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue Hydrating Foundation Stick. Um, and for the longest time, I didn't think that Bare Minerals was cruelty free, but they are. So I just decided to really just give this one a test. I'm just trying to add new primers and foundations and concealers to my collection. And I figured this is a good way to start. Do I just twist this? Oh, there we go. I don't know if it's going to be too dark for me. It might be... Actually, it might be pretty perfect for my shade. Ouch. <clears throat> so I'll keep you guys updated on that. Next are two Cover FX powders. Not powders. Products. I haven't been using the Cover FX um, Perfect Setting Powder. I think just because I ran out. And then I started trying the Kat Von D one. And then I discovered another one, which I'll show you in here. And then I've also been using drugstore powders, which are really good as well. But... Back to the Cover FX thing right now. I got the Cover FX Power Play Foundation and then the Power Play Concealer. Just really excited to try these out. I do plan to film a Beat the Heat tutorial, but I don't know if I'm going to use any of these. Just because I don't know if they're matte enough for me. So I like this. It's a twisty. I don't know. I prefer a pump over like a medicine dropper whatever and then I might be a little upset if these are the same nope it's a very interesting doe foot applicator so hopefully the concealer isn't too bright um, I'm not really great at picking concealers online 
I mean, who really is? You can either pick them too light or too dark, and, um, uh, you know, I'm just gonna go with it. I picked up, <clears throat> I put in my cart two products from Charlotte Tilbury. I was gonna get the foundation, but they didn't have my shade. Bummer. So I just decided to, uh, make up for that with getting the Charlotte Tilbury Matte Revolution Lipstick. This is in the shade Pillow Talk, and then very very Victoria. You know, I'm really just into mauve right now. I know spring you're supposed to like go bigger and bolder with your colors, but that's just not me. It's never been me. I don't know, I kind of also just want to get into lipsticks as well. Because I feel like um, we just stop trying lipsticks and we just go straight for lip glosses or liquid lipsticks. Ooh, next are two products from Jouer. I've never tried Jouer products before, and what better way than to just go in with a foundation. This is the high coverage cream foundation, and then I also got the high coverage liquid concealer. This box is huge. Let's see the foundations. Hmm. They wasted a lot. Whatever. It's a pretty box, though. It's nice to foil. It reminds you of the Willy Wonka uh, golden tickets. This should definitely be my shade. And then here's the foundation. Companion. It's the concealer. It might be too dark for me. We'll see. And the last two like makeup items in here is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Soft Matte Longwear Foundation and then the Instant Retouch Concealer. Can you believe I have never tried Fenty Beauty products? And apparently this is really matte, so I might even try this one for my Beat the Heat tutorial. And then I was given the option for... Oh no, this wasn't an option. This is just what I wanted to try. I'm trying to update my uh, fragrances. And I found this, it's by Rosie Jane. There are one, two, three, four, five shades in here, five scents in here. And they are all scattered about because that's the way the cookie crumbles these days. This one is Rosie, these are so tiny. This one is, oh, this one busted, we're leaked. Yep, this one leaked. That's unfortunate. This one is Tilly. This one is Layla Lou. It's cute. And then the last one is James. So I'm gonna decide to try all these little babies out. All five of them. The one that was leaking was Angie. And that one smells like, ooh, that one's very potent. <laughs> okay. On to the next part of my little haul. I showed these on, I've been showing these slowly on my Makeup by Catherine 18 Instagram page. So if you haven't checked that out, go ahead and check that out. And I will link it right down here. It's also at the beginning of my video as well. So, so the other powder that I recently started trying was the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. I got the mini one when I did another Sephora order, I think back in January. And I love that one so much that I was like, I need the big size. I mean, if you've tried this, you know how well this works. I don't, I haven't seen any flashback when I use this powder, which is really good. And it's rare for a translucent powder because translucent powders really just whiten you up. I got this free. I think this was for my, ugh, I lied. This was for my birthday gift. This is the Jo Malone perfume and I actually smelled it and it smells really good. Just a little sample size. It's peony and blush suede. And I smelt it and then sprayed it on myself. And just let's just say my body chemistry works really well with this. So there's that. That one's from Sephora. This is the last thing in here from Sephora is from the ordinary. It's the 100% organic cold pressed rose hip seed oil. I like to go in with oils every now and then. I don't like to go in with them all the time because it will clog my pores, but I'm excited to try this because I've heard really good things about um, rose hip seed. I also really need to order the salicylic acid one again. That one was really good. But I also thought The Ordinary was 
discontinuing everything. You showed me. Next is everything just a collection from Target, Walgreens, Walmart. I don't really know where I got everything from, but yeah. <clears throat> so I have three concealers from NYX. I'm hoping that none of these are all the same. Oh yeah, I have two of the same up here. Where's the shade? Beige. Soft beige. And then neutral buff. These are the Can't Stop, Won't Stop concealers. I have the foundation, and I really like the foundation. It's perfect for oily skin, especially in the summer. I used it last summer when I went out um, for birthday celebrations. So I'm not going to get into that one. And it lasted all day. It didn't really crease up in the smile lines, which is a big problem with my skin texture and skin type. And I didn't really get as oily up here in my T-zone, which I always do. So using that and the techniques that I use whenever I put that foundation on it really worked well so I'm excited to pair these together. I know I got this one from Ulta. This is the Essence Lash Princess Sculpted Volume Mascara. You guys really know that I am obsessed with Essence products and just you know up in my Essence game when it comes to mascaras. This is the Milani Prep and Prep and Brighten Rose Face Oil. I figured I could use this um, part as my nighttime routine, or as part as my as part as my as part of my makeup routine, especially if I want to just get some extra hydration back into my skin whenever I suck all the energy out of it with a mattifying primer. I know that's just like counterintuitive, so I'll probably just go in with this with like a dewy foundation. I have a few products from CoverGirl, I guess. CoverGirl. I have the CoverGirl Clean Matte BB Cream for oily skin. This is in the shade 550 Medium Deep. I'm thinking that's pretty good. I'm more leaning towards using this in the summer just because right now my arms are pretty dark and nothing really matches, so I hit the beach ace up. And then I got the CoverGirl Lash Blast Active. I was going to use that during softball season, but considering I have like two weeks left, um, it's kind of pointless. So I'll do this whenever I do like workouts. Test this and see if it does not run into my eyes. I usually don't wear makeup when I work out. So we'll try that and see how this one works. And part of the um, active line, I got the 24 hour foundation plus ox oxinoxate. I don't know sunscreen. It's got SPF 20 in it. And it's natural tan. This one should be a pretty good match for me. Hopefully, if not, what am I going to do? I lost a receipt for that one. And then the last CoverGirl product is the Outlast All Day Primer. I'm going to probably, um, yeah, I'll just use this as a primer for all of my CoverGirl foundations. I'll just stick with stuff like that. Yet. Then my last four products are all from Wet n Wild. This is the Wet n Wild Mega Last Liquid Catsuit High Shine Lipstick in the shade Cedar Later. It's a really pretty color. It reminds me of my Charlotte Tilbury stuff. And then I repurchased the Mega Glow Highlighting Powder in the shade Precious Petals. Just because I really like this and I had not seen it in stores in a very long time. Then the last two products are two bronzers. I didn't know which shade really to get. So I got the Wet n Wild Color Icon Bronzer in the shade Palm Beach Ready and then Ticket to Brazil. I'll probably just mix these just because I love bronzers, especially in the summer. They are hella gorgeous and it helps you just look even bronzer than you are. So yeah, I hope you guys liked watching this haul. This is my main Sephora haul. I've just also been collecting makeup and not saving my money but yeah this is a really big one and hope you guys liked it if you did go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and also don't forget to click that subscribe button that is right down here and also hit that post notification bell because i do plan to post once a week um i'm pre-filming a lot of videos because i'm hoping to move sometime in june july it just depends on when leases end and applications and my sister getting her job so yeah stay tuned and i'll catch you guys later